girl top video i think i'm gonna name this wine spill wine Ooh. spill oh that is cute today we have another special guest with us Sumini. Yeah. Yeah. and guys i know we're all in matching clothes yeah um guess whose idea it was <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for dressing us. Yeah, yeah isn't this so cute? Yeah. It's cute. Oh, Can we stand up a bit and show them the bottom too? <laughs> okay, so we asked you guys for questions and you guys submitted them in. So we're going to drink some wine, have some snacks, and answer some questions. Ooh. Please do the honor. Who wants the first four? This is the best Ashley. sound. Okay, okay ready? So everything's going to be okay. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that sound means like <laughs> so everything's weird. gonna be okay. So we have some Korean snacks. This you dip it in the sauce. Oh. Oh, the it's like ketchup and mayo, right? What is it? Mm -hmm. Flavor is it? So good. It's supposed to be tamke mm -hmm. ramen noodle. Mm -hmm. And then you guys can enjoy your takis. Yes. We yes. have um, Kinder chocolate and some more chocolate snacks and gopher corn. Yay! <laughs> All right. Let's cheers first. Cheers! cheers. Mm. Mm. There's also water. Shall we get started? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Wine spill. That's a good name. That is cute. Did your subscribers help you with that one? Yes. Oh. I've been waiting to come on here. Do I have no way to give you a It's been forever since we last. Film. I had blonde short so, hair. Yeah, yeah it was like, the beginning yeah, of this year. This year. Oh, Sorry guys. We'll try to make it more regular. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll start with an easy question and something that a lot of people have been curious about, mm. which is how did we meet? Ooh. Um, our subscribers who have been here since a long time ago might know already. Mm -hmm. But um for our new subscribers, how do we meet? Oh. Well, you guys met first, mm -hmm. so. Well, I was introduced to Subim through Alex. Yes. Alex and I were promoting around the same time mm -hmm. in 2016, and as soon as we <laughs> met, <laughs> yes, because it was during the rain promotions, yeah. and as soon as we met, we vibed because we were both from New York, and it's hard to meet people from New York right. in this industry. Yeah. So we exchanged numbers right away. We kept in touch, and he was like, "Hey, I want to introduce you to my." Cool girlfriends who are also from the states, and mm -hmm. I was like, okay. And then I went out one day, and that's when I met you. We lived in like the same neighborhood area too. I think that's when we got even closer. Yeah. She's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, okay, let's go to a cafe. And you know, Ashley knows all of her cafes, and I'm like, oh, I like this. I don't need to like find cafes. She knows all the aesthetic cafe yeah. findings. So. I mean, if we try to find one, she's like, no, I already live <laughs> there. Or she's like, I found this. So this is not <laughs> the honest. It's so honest. We're like, so we know. Yeah, we try, and there's like once in a year she'll be like, okay, and that day you feel so good because you're like, yes, actually yeah. accepted. You know, my my, 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 my. <laughs> I'm sorry, we'll go to your places more often. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm so used to this already. Yeah, me too. I don't want to. Oh. And then I still remember when I first met her, she was in this long Adidas puffer jacket that oh came God. like all the way down to her ankles because mm -hmm. we didn't meet on a really cold winter day. And then we went to an Italian restaurant with horrible oh service oh my gosh. and we were talking yeah, crap. Great memory. Oh, oh, she does. Only, oh only with certain things, with other okay. things I have bad memory. Yeah. And then and then we met mm -hmm. at a birthday party. Yes. It was Sunny Dahi's birthday party. Mm -hmm. We met in Karuskir at the Mr. Holmes Cafe. Yeah, which is now gone. It's not there anymore. It's so sad. But my first impression of I remember your first impression. She was just like in pigtails and like a skirt, Korean Britney Spears mode. Oh, that day. And then later, as I got to know her, I was like, oh, she's really cool, right? Mm -hmm. And then as I got to know her more and got to know people around her, mm -hmm. everyone was like, my first impression of Ashley was so scary. And I was like, mine wasn't. <laughs> Yes, it helped. The Britney Spears outfit helped. It made me look less intimidating as usual. But yeah, Ashley was a little intimidating. Really? A little bit. I yeah. never had that vibe from you, so. And she's like <laughs> this gentle soul. She yeah, she's like the most, most not gentle person. 
like <laughs> that means such that a sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. A RBF. Speaking of how we first met, what is your best memory of us? Ooh. Ooh. Dude, just go back and watch Jump Day 365. No, we seriously. Have so many memories up there. So, I mean, I can think of like our first trip ever, just the three of us. It was to Tamyang. Oh, we got gosh. a little lost. You broke your camera. I broke my camera. <laughs> oh, I also remember when we went to um, that gallery, that museum. And remember, we had to hitchhike back. Oh! <laughs> Oh yeah, actually that is one Yo, of the that's best. a memory. That's a memory. Yo. Yo. We, that is a memory. I think it was um Yangju. Yeah, yeah, right? Yangju. Yeah. We went Dude, to the train track. That was very dangerous of what we did. <laughs> that was our last resort. Yeah. So that place was like in the middle of nowhere, so it's really hard to get to without a car. Yeah. Even the bus, we had to wait a long time, yeah. right? Yeah. And by the time we left the museum, the buses were gone, and they said we had to wait like an hour. Mm -hmm. So we were like, oh my god, oh my god, what do we do? The cabs weren't even coming. Yeah, no so busing. So we saw a mom and her son come out of the museum, and we followed them to the parking lot. Which sounds so creepy now. We're like, oh, what do we say to her? She's Yeah. Oh. No, we asked her to drop us to off at the nearest, nearest uh, yeah. subway station. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah And yeah. the crazy thing is, she actually lived near our neighborhood. Yeah. So yeah. Was just like, oh my so gosh, perfect. perfect. Oh yeah, that is definitely that's, top five. Yeah, that's top five. We got lucky. I also really enjoyed our first Cheju trip with the Akoko, like mm -hmm. the new gen mm -hmm. That was really fun. We and danced um, on the hallway and that was like a moment that we had. Oh yeah, that was a moment. Oh man, pre-COVID days. Yeah, pre-COVID days. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite moment was um, when we were just about getting close to each other and then Ashley made us walk. Like this one day, we were walking like constantly. I don't know what neighborhood, I think it was Huangdong. Uh -huh. You know, it's hard for me to like think of a moment where she made us walk because she makes me walk all the time. <laughs> I know. No, but she's like, guys! Just like like, which which one? Like there were so yeah, many. there were so many. And she lies to me. She's like, it's like five minutes, and I'm like, oh, we, we really got here. I'll get you water. So I'm like, my daughter, I'm not getting tipsy. Okay. I'll what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whose water is that? That's mine. This oh, is okay. yours. Thank you. Two more women. Do you guys have plans on traveling anywhere together? Where? Oh my gosh, I wish. After COVID. I remember when Joan came back from like Spain and stuff and like we watched her vlogs yeah. We were just like, Joan, like take oh us God, there I, know, like, we, I really want to do Europe with you guys yeah. And then you know, it will be different because she went to the Philippines with me before, yeah. right? And then she knows that I'm always like, okay, where do we go? Like I'm yeah. always like like okay, what do we do? Yeah, like, where like, do we go? Like where where is it? So I'm yeah, always, I'm always you know, like in Korea. I'm like you guys are in charge, sort of. But then when I'm abroad, it's like it's she saw the hundred percent. It's crazy. Really? <laughs> Even as she stepped foot at the airport, yeah. she's like pop, pop, the gates over here, and, like, <laughs> and she's just like where do I go? Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, and I was like dude. I need to see that stuff. Yeah, but in when my friends from the States visit Korea, I am that person. Mm -hmm. But because I know you guys are like way better at me at it, so I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, you guys take charge. But then when I'm abroad, it like comes. And so mm -hmm. like I know for a fact that it will be like Excel sheet, oh, yeah. Airbnb, like, yeah. you know. Do they know that about you, that like the Excel sheet? Yeah, I told them last oh, night. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, we need her to make like a financial video because, you know, she's an expert on that. It's like finance. Excel sheet. There's an at a glance what the trip is going to look yeah. like day to day, mm. what each hour is going to yeah. sort of look like. Uh -huh. um, the finance, who paid for what, because it's way easier than like splitting the mm. bill. And so, yeah, I, I that. think we'll be good at traveling together because it's not like we just like staying at like maybe a hotel we like to right. go look around and sight that's and stuff. true so i think we'll be okay yeah i want to go to america with all three of you guys too oh yeah. i want to go to la with you guys yeah i'm gonna go um, to vegas i don't want to go to la <laughs> right i don't want to go to vegas i want to go to vegas <laughs> Yeah, like actually calm down. Literally drink with every meal. Like
like mimosas, <laughs> uh, like I love. It seems so chaotic, dude. There was a time in college where I would go like every weekend. Oh, I was like that girl. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Vegas. I really want to meet that Joan. You know, the yeah. college Joan. Yeah, you guys got the crazy Joan. Joan. This is toned down. Imagine how crazy <laughs> oh my god. Joan in college must have been. You know. Oh how do you take care of your down there area after getting sugar slash waxed? Example mm -hmm. like ingrown hairs. Oh, okay. We've all had experience getting sugaring or waxing. Right. So, I mean, our place that we went to, she gave us like a scrub to use. Yeah. Because you have to make sure that like after five days you get waxing, you mm -hmm. use the scrub like once or twice a week. Yeah. And also apply lotion because mm -hmm. if it's dry, it's gonna right. get. It. Yeah. And the toner spray. <laughs> the toner spray. <laughs> yeah, there's like a toner spray. <laughs> Cooling toner spray. Yeah. And there's also there's a pack. Yeah, the mask sheet mask for down there. Oh my god. Yeah, oh. first time when she was putting that on me, I was like, what is this? And she was like, oh, it's a sheet mask for down there. I was like, there's a yeah. sheet mask for down there. I'm like, why? Yeah. But um, yeah, it feels nice. It's the best part. Yeah, it's very cooling. Yeah. But not all salons do that. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah, that's true. My person, she takes care of all the ingrown with the tweezers. Oh yeah. You know, like that I don't think hurt. the tweezers hurt. I think because sugaring hurts so much. At that at that point, I'm like, oh, all right, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm done. That's true. <laughs> like I'm. <laughs> Whenever she's like, I have to take an ingrown hair. I was like, no, please. I'm like, no. no. Just leave it. I'll just lift the ingrown hair. Oh, we have been really talking about this right now. So oh, man, it's like so the same, right? Yeah. Scrub and lotion. I yeah. want to try laser though, because that's what's like kind of in and Korea. It hurts. Mm. It hurts. That's what she yeah. told us. But I don't know, they might have new machines and new technology that's yeah. less painful. Mm -hmm. So you can try it and let, let us know. know. <laughs> let us know. Oh, you got it done though. Yeah, but I can't go through that again. Yeah. And that's with numbing cream. Oh. But that only numbs the outer part, but yeah. the laser penetrates like deep mm -hmm. in there. So, you know, Ouch. I can't go through that. And it's sensitive down there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so sensitive. And guys, if you're gonna go waxing, like avoid it a week before or after your period. Oh yeah, it's gonna be more yes. painful. Mm -hmm. You gotta go. You gotta avoid those times. That's facts. Mm. How do you take care of your armpits? Oh, <laughs> I got my laser. Oh okay. Oh, yeah. Me too. I don't have <laughs> hair down. I don't have hair on my. Wow, armpits. she's so wet. So Seriously, lovely. it's like my mom. But once in a while, I get like. One, one or two, and mm -hmm. I just pluck them out. Wait, so should I take it slow? Should I drink some water? Yes, yes drink, drink some, some water. Water, <laughs> water coughs. <laughs> so, literally every weekend, water. Yeah. Water. <laughs> we always tell Joe, Joe, drink water. <laughs> and I should be like, drink water now. And then Subin would be like, me. <laughs> I think she would put it right in front of me. I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, I think this will be a fun one. Would you rather be stuck on an island with Matt or Peniel? Let's oh. answer. One, two, three. Matt. Who? What? What? Wait, what? You what? Said what? Okay, I have a good reason. Wait. Okay. Wait. I knew you guys were gonna say Matt. That's like I, no, I thought about it too. Okay, <laughs> Matt. This is so funny. Hold up. <laughs> okay. So I know Matt seems a little more dependable because he's so muscular and fit, <laughs> and you know he's tall. And I feel like you know he can go out and hunt stuff for us to survive through. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Matthew's kind of like emotional too. I feel like the yeah. male, since his, he's level-headed and he's way more chill and laid back, mentally he will keep us in check. You know, but if I'm freaking out, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. He's like, no, you're not actually shut up. <laughs> crying with me. What? He'll be like, he'll be like, yo, I don't really? know what to do, yo. Like, I still, I gotta promote 13 IBI. Like, I can't. <laughs> Strong, like mentally, right? But you also have to be strong physically. I'm not, I'm not saying like, yeah. Neil is not strong physically. Yeah, Neil is strong too. Works out too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of changing. 
The good thing about Matthew is that you know how he likes working out and stuff? Yeah. yeah. For everything that he does on the island, he's gonna be like, this is working out. Yeah. This is working out. I, yeah. I, I would leave that island yeah. so fit. I would yeah. leave yeah. the island with a six pack. Yeah. He would yeah. train us. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, Ashley, you yeah. gotta be fit in order yeah. for us to he's swim. Like, I have fish is protein. Like, <laughs> people are going to remake this and tap them and they're gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah. We love you. Yeah. But then BM is very motivational too. Yeah. So I feel like every day we wake up, he's gonna say another inspirational code and be like, we, <laughs> we gotta get through another day. But <laughs> yeah. Know. With BM, you'll be able to get out of the island with <laughs> Peniel. You're gonna just enjoy I'm the island. Thinking, yeah, you're just gonna enjoy the you island. You are very Peniel. <laughs> yeah. It's very Peniel. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, this is happening for a reason. It's yeah. meant to be. Like, oh my god. Can we please oh drink to that? Speaking of math, speaking of math, what the? <laughs> and then oh my gosh, Pino! Oh my god! What the heck? Oh, yeah. What do you know? Because we're they know we're talking. They know we're talking. About know we're talking about them. Them. Dude, Are you scary? scary? Could you ever date a regular person, not IG famous, no large followers, not popular? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I always prefer dating a yeah. non-celebrity. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just their occupation. Next mm -hmm. question. <laughs> like, it really is. You know, like yeah. literally, people make a big deal out of it. It's not. A, it's if anything, dating celebrities is more painful. Like, it's just they they. It just gets in their head, and uh, okay, honestly, yeah, see. like dating <laughs> celebrities is probably the. Worse. I think I have some worse experiences with dating celebrities or people who are in the field rather than not, yeah. you know? Yeah, and whatever the image they have on the public is yeah. so different from who they are. Yeah, yeah. shame still going on yeah. right there. <laughs> not, not, not for everyone, of course. Yeah, disclaimer, not, not everyone not like everyone. that, but um, yeah. some people yeah. are, so. Right. See that recent, <laughs> what is that recent thing? Like, who's that idol that just got caught from like, Oh. Th there's like that <laughs> Like, I was so shocked by that. That could happen. Okay, well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, like seriously, I if I was in a club and an idol like approached me like that, I'd be like, get out of my face. Like, Dude. I would not care. I've met so many idols. They do that. Clubs. Yeah. Because you didn't go to the... Yeah, I didn't go to clubs in general when I was promoting. Yeah. 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 But yeah. you did? Yeah. That's yeah. not in your contract, dear. <laughs> she snuck out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, please mean. mom don't watch this. <laughs> If you had the money and skills to do anything at all, what business would you be in together or solo? Oh, I don't think I would do a business with them. No, I'm just saying, they said don't do business with your friends. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, so yeah. no, I'll, for sure. I'll probably do something. I agree with you too. On my own, but I'm sure they'll help. Yeah, I'll, I'll post. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'll post it. I'll post it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I think we'll be really good at um, like making a brand because I feel like Joan would be really good at like the marketing social part of it, and then you would be like mm -hmm. really good at finding like location to and like stuff, shoot the stuff. shoot and stuff, or like you know, like not the vibe, but like the concept. She'll be the, model. She'll be the one <laughs> like drawing all the yeah, stuff like, and making can, it. She's so really yeah, talented. Like, yeah, like design and stuff. Yeah. So I feel like. But we all have like a good sense of style yes. too. So I feel like we might be okay. You would want to do a clothing brand. Clothing. Yeah, clothing mm -hmm. brand. Oh, wait, you, I would, would you want to do, do a cafe. Cafe. Business. Ooh, yeah. Have we talked about this? I before? never thought about this. Really? Like I never. This is like the first time I'm getting this question asked. I wouldn't know. Maybe hotel. Like if that wasn't like. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh we, we gotta, gotta go <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, why couldn't we do that? Uh, Read your answers. <laughs> yes, have a hotel that has branches all over the yeah, world. Oh, yeah. and just fly yeah, to dude, all dude, these different fun, countries. Right? Well, I can do that with cafes. Yeah, yeah. Have, okay, you do the hotel, I'll do the cafe inside the hotel, and then we'll have, you'll have a shot. You'll yeah, have a shot. Yes. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, but honestly, guys, it <laughs> might not happen. <laughs> I need a degree for that. Like, I don't have an MBA in business. <laughs> so like, I don't have a 
have hotel I didn't study hotel management like skipping steps here <laughs> and this is just like you know what like, if yeah imagining yeah. oh my god it was yeah. nice to think about that <laughs> yeah <seconds. laughs> okay crush our dreams in three seconds <laughs> all right next question okay back to reality <laughs> how do you deal with insecurities with your body face skin etc Mm. Oh, I'll go first. Okay. My biggest insecurity was acne. Mm. Like I had it for like a couple of years, and so I there would be moments where I can't leave like even to the grocery store without like I didn't even want to be on the same elevator with strangers with my face like that. And whenever I saw people, I can't look at them in the eye. So like I remember I would always walk her on. The, I would look on the ground. Mm. <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> I was so insecure about my skin mm -hmm. um, but I mean over the years it took time for me to like understand my skin and then I was able to find a routine but I mean honestly like I just dealt with it by trying to find solutions like finding the products going to clinics and whatnot so I know what that feels like but over time it will be okay like future Joan will tell that Joan with lots of like a pizza face Joan mm. that everything is gonna be okay like just you know like stop stressing out about it because stress will cause more acne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because not, like last week I went to the skincare clinic and my little Joan name was like, "There's nothing to pop," and I was like, <gasps> "Find something to pop." Like, yeah, because usually it's amazing. Amazing. yeah, it's like clean one day you will like, find it. She will find it. something, but. She was like, there's nothing to pop. And I was like, are you sure? Like, look again. And she was like, there's nothing to pop. Look again. <laughs> look again. Because it was like my first time after like going to the same clinic for over like, I've counted how many times I've been to the clinic. It's like over 200 times. Because yeah. I just like start go started going like every week. Like, especially with COVID, like you have to be more careful with like your skin and whatnot. But yeah, it, I was so shocked. I was like, wow. Like when I look at my old pictures, mm -hmm. it's going to be okay. Yeah. So people facing acne, like who has acne, it's gonna take time. Don't ever think like something is gonna magically make all your acne pimples go away. Like just time. Yeah. Yeah. That was my biggest thing. I know. Cause we all probably have different things. So I think my biggest insecurity is probably like was or is like my weight. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, yeah. I, I feel like it's because like. A lot of people like when they see me, they're like, "Oh my God, you're so skinny!" Mm, and I'm just yeah. sick of bones. But I mean, I yeah. feel like at one point, even if you guys look at like a lot of my pictures, like I had an insecurity, I would put like bigger clothes because mm -hmm. I didn't want like them, like people thinking I'm like super skinny. But I think as of now, I've come to just like accept that it's just me, you know. Yeah. Like I've always been like this. So yeah. for me, I think that was probably like my biggest insecurity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, a lot of yeah. People, yeah, a lot of people like skinny shame too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I, you know, like I don't think a lot of people like don't understand that. Cause they're like, well, like being skinny is good, but like I feel like the when commentary, everybody tells yeah, you that, like, everybody tells you that. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god, like have you been eating? Or yeah. like, like, do you eat? Or like, oh my god, you're just like bold. It, it kind of like gets to you mentally sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say like stay off of. Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My Instagram is let me show you guys my explore page. <laughs> oh, it's all yes. basketball players. Whoa! Wow. So, this is my explore page. I'll refresh it for you right now. Back to basketball. Wow. <laughs> I literally am only so for me, I don't find insecurity. Like maybe I wish I was a better basketball player. But um I, I just I post taller. Yeah, I like, know. A lot taller. I just post, comment, and then look at my explore page. Mm -hmm. And then that's why I enjoy going on Instagram wow. because before I go to sleep I would watch like all these highlights. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But no, I know what you mean by that and I do agree with you. We live in this like world where Instagram is kind of taking over our lives. Like I would go to the pool in Seoul and everyone's on the phone. Everyone is taking pictures and I'm like, for what though? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so um, every time I do book hotels, I understand that if you have to work, get your photos, whatnot. But if you're constantly just doing that for four, four hours, like I, I can't 
get it. I don't, I don't understand that. Mm -hmm. So whenever I check in, it's like first hour, take all your photos, and then after that, enjoy. Like you have to live in the moment to fully kind of like love yourself more, and then you'll be less insecure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Instagram is dangerous. Mm. Something I realized when I was in Jeju, so mm -hmm. when I went to Jeju this past um, month, yeah, I went to the beach, and usually, like in Korea, um, I would feel self-conscious about like being in a bikini. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, okay, I'm here to have fun. I'm here to swim in the ocean. I'm here to get a tan. So yeah. before I like took off my clothes, I, was, I felt very like insecure, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh my god. People like see my cellulite and like what if people see my fat and no no I do have but um I was like oh what do I do do I just go in with like my clothes and last minute I was like you know what just f it and then I just like took everything off and I just like ran into the water oh. it took like, like one second for me to be like yeah. okay I don't care let me just do it I was like yeah. no I still felt scared like, but I was like let me just do it and once. I did that, I felt so liberated yeah. and I just like had so much fun I didn't care about if somebody was behind me seeing my butt or like my thighs and after that I was like, oh wow, this is nice and you'll never see them again exactly, yeah. they don't give a yeah. shit like they, yeah. people yeah. don't care that much yeah. as much as you think mm -hmm. but I feel like back in Seoul, it takes a little bit more courage yeah. and I'm still working on it but yeah, yeah as long as you're trying, yeah. it's fine I think you're your biggest enemy. Yeah. Yeah, like you're your biggest critique. Yeah. Oh my god, Ashley, you're not drinking. Is it because you're hosting? I'm like so about to finish this. Yeah. Drink more. Uh, would you guys rather want a five year old Ashley or five Ashleys or five year old Jones or five Jones or five year old Sabine or five Sabines? Oh, I know what I want. <laughs> I want five Jones. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want five Jones. Five Jones? Before everything, I was like, I want, I want five Jones. <laughs> <laughs> but you're two. Okay, one each. each. I want one each. Oh, one five-year-old. One five-year-old five each, and then I want five Jones. Five, five Jones. Five Jones can take care of one five-year-old. Yeah. Five yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even three Jones can take care of. Oh, hey, you, you know? know? I think we're on our I do, yeah. 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 <laughs> Would you just want one five-year-old Ashley, too? Yeah. I want Why five Ashleys too much. Because I. No. <laughs> you didn't want five Ashleys. <laughs> will make like 500 hotels mm -hmm. like I know that <laughs> dude yeah, yeah. but she knows she's crazy and it's just enough one is enough yeah one of us is yeah, enough. One yeah. Is enough. yeah. no 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 I, like that. I think we came to an agreement yeah. though it's all that I was like I know what I want no because don't you ever think like oh my gosh I wish there was like another me so that she can take care of emails and she could take care of the filming and she could edit like do you not think of that? I don't know I always think of that I never thought of that oh yeah right yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah like I want to be at like three places mm. at once oh, really? a traveling actually yeah. a radio actually yeah. 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 yes this is free, so yeah. good <laughs> the next question is who do you think will get married first? shall we point? one two, two three, three. <laughs> loving person and you're like such a mom you're such a good hubby to me oh, but then i say hubby but like you're a wife <laughs> like, oh, like you are a thing. wife wife material like i feel like if you have a child you'll be so good to the child like i always tell you this you'd be great you too you're just younger than us that is so but by the time she gets married you'll probably get married at the same age she is so maybe yeah, I feel like you guys are both like just very motherly, loving, and that you have that trait. Mm -hmm. Whoever marries her, it's gonna go yeah. through me. Um, it's like interrogation <laughs> process. Like you know, it's like come, come. I'm gonna give you an interview. It's gonna five be like, Jones okay, coming your way. Five Jones <laughs> in one. Like I will come at you, bro. Yeah. But why did you point at yourself? 
<laughs> because these days, you know how I go through phases? Like, I've been going through a phase of like, I'm gonna live my life, I'm yeah. gonna get married, yeah. you know, I'm just gonna do me, do whatever I want. Has phases. But then now I'm at a phase where I'm like, I wanna get married. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I don't know about marriage in particular, but I've been watching so many YouTube videos of like, on like, how to be a good parent. Yeah. Like, a parenting one on one. Is that what your YouTube's on? No, no, not that. Yeah. And I've been watching videos of like experiments on of little kids, like how mm. little kids behave when yeah. they were abandoned by their parents mm. or like if they grew up in a loving family. And I've just been watching a bunch of those videos. I don't know why, but maybe something like inside of me that really wants like to be a mom or something. But then I don't know, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Yeah. But I think one day, but then there might be another phase where I'm like no, I can't yeah. do. I can't but do. I feel like when I first met you mm -hmm. and like the first couple of years we were friends, I always like knew you were gonna get married and you're gonna have kids. Mm -hmm. Like I think that just kind of yeah, kind of um, y you have that energy of just like loving people and taking care of people. And so for me, I was like, this girl's gonna get married like as soon as her contract is over. <laughs> like I literally thought, yeah, that. she's just gonna get yeah. married. <laughs> But I think it's just like if you meet the right person and like right. the timing wise, I feel like you, you're you ready for it. Yeah. Like, I mean, also like not everyone is ready for it. I have friends who are married and having like kids mm -hmm. and they still don't feel ready and stuff. But I think like whatever happens, I feel like you will handle that situation so well. Mm -hmm. Like whatever comes at you, you'll do it. Like yeah. I know you will. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but it's so hard to raise another human being. I don't know if I could do it. I feel like you started thinking that after you became friends with me. <laughs> no, it's not. No, because before when... Hey, it's okay, okay because we'll be really good at I'll be, carrying you, your you baby. You realize I'm going to be the best emo out. Yeah, me too. Like, I'm like, hey, little Kina, you know, like, yeah. I got you. So don't worry on that. We'll be three, I'll be three people I'll taking care I'll of the baby. Drop your baby off. I'll yeah. take care of the baby. Because I love babysitting and I love babies. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I really don't think I can have a child, but I know for a fact you will. And you'll have support system. Yeah, dude. You have us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have it while we're still young, so you guys have enough energy to take care of her. I will forever be young. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I feel more relieved now. <laughs> <laughs> it was my first time hearing this after a while. Like, mm. you know, see? You're hearing it first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is something you want to do or achieve before reaching 30 years old? That's like five months for us. I was gonna say, oh, I still have, but then I was gonna say for you guys, mm, that's like, <laughs> Joe's like, shh. I, age oh. is just a number. Mm. I still feel super young. I, I, I feel like my body is mm. definitely like aging. Aging. <laughs> yeah. like, I still don't have hangovers, but then like sometimes when I drink, I'm always like, oh, like this might be like, what a hangover is. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like, oh. oh yeah, you think it. Yeah, you should be getting. Yeah, yeah. you should be getting hangovers. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you are not drinking right now? But also, my period, like, we're talking. I mean, yeah, this is whatever. Still, why yeah. still, my period cramps have been crazy. Like, mm. when I was in high school, I never understood why, like, girls would skip school for period cramps mm. because I was like, why do they just like, do they just want, not want to go to school? That was like a genuine concern. I was like, oh, like maybe whatever. But then now I'm like, if this is what they felt at the age of 16, mm. like I would never go to school because it was so painful. And I think this started to happen at the age of 29. Like I've never had cramps. And so I think like now I feel like I have headaches. And so I think age is, my body is aging, mm. but my mindset Mind. is not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. That would just like want to like just like dance or something like like <laughs> club. Oh, club. That's your. That's what you want to do before you reach thirty. <laughs> you want to go to a club and dance. Yeah, that's with it. you guys. Oh my god, I'm getting ratchet and stuff. Oh my god, because you can only do that when you're young, you know. Wait, no. It's been no, a while. I mean, okay, it's I'm sorry. I'm it's been a while for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a freaking. No, you know what the thing is? When we go club, 
clubbing, they will be dancing. I'll be at the bar. Yeah, <laughs> she'll be drinking. I'll be like, all right, give me everything. <laughs> like, I would like to go on like one last like trip. Yeah. Wait, did we never go to a club together? No, we did. For we our like birthday, we once. did. Yeah, we really I might sound like an alcohol, but like I can just consume a lot. Like I, I might sound like an alcohol. Yeah, alcohol. <laughs> like, alcoholic. Okay, sorry. I might she sound. She is like, alcohol. I am alcohol. Oh, I have alcoholic. one. Getting a license. You guys don't have license. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, yeah, well, it's impossible. It. I can't get it. <laughs> why? 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 That's you can't. Way. You have five months. What are you talking about? Okay. Let's really answer this question. Mm. Starting with you, because you have more time. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky. And then you have more time than three days later. Yeah, three, I have three more days than you. You know, even that's cool. Like, Ashley and I are 6'9. Mm-hmm. 6'9. 6'9. 6'9. 6'9. He's a 6'9. Yeah. Six nine. Six nine. What? 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 We're 69. 6'9. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. November 69. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So like, like I've been trying to, I've been saving a lot of money, mm. and then you know it just, it just takes saving, time. Because saving is hard. Yeah, too, every year you know like housing goes up, so it's like tough and tough. Yeah. Like well, ha price, housing prices goes up. You have to pay your taxes. You know it's just like, <laughs> like it's just like an ongoing circle. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough for people who are Americans living in Korea because we have to pay for both. Like I pay for both taxes, mm -hmm. and so it's just like oh, I get owned in the month of like April, May, and June. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I'm down for oh, it. Wow, Shumi is drinking a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. wine's yeah. usually not my. But this is good. Beer, this is a good. beer, beer type of yeah. Like yeah. it. I, I love two this. bottles. I underestimated you guys. <laughs> I thought two hours, a bottle in two hours. Wait, wait. how could you underestimate me? Yeah. Well, I thought that is keep on right there. One bottle is like daily, every meal. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
I'm starting high school soon and I'm nervous. Any advice? Okay, you can go first. Me? Why me? Me? Well, you, you're, it happened most recently for you. For you. <laughs> Yeah, I oh, graduated in 2010. Oh, you went to school in 92. Oh, 92. Oh, yeah. For me, when I I would only go from school like hagon like academy like school mm. academy and like church school academy church like that was mm. literally my routine. Yeah. So I would say like just have fun like you know like make a lot of memories with your friends. Yeah. Um, I know like it's really hard because in high school you're pressured to just like do all your studies you know going to college and stuff but I feel like sometimes when I look back at like my high school memories I don't have like a lot of like high school memories mm. in my opinion so I would say like just do that mm. but I think it's like normal like to yeah. piggyback off of her I feel like it's normal for like our neighborhood because mm -hmm. we like lived in like the suburbs yeah I like lived in the suburbs yeah. and so that was a very routine for me my tip for high school students would be like to join as much as like fun extracurricular activities as you can because when you apply for schools it's not just about grades it's about having like you want to package mm -hmm. your entire like college application as like you want to look like a well-rounded person mm -hmm. it's not just about grades it's really about like what extracurricular activities yeah. you did what you ran for what how much hours of community service you did and again, like I don't know how high school is like for y'all these days, but mm -hmm. personally for me, that's what kept me busy in high school. It wasn't mm -hmm. just studying because mm -hmm. studying is just like you know, do your homework, you take your test, and it's like it's done. Yeah. And then maybe you go to SAT Hall one. I don't know, but just try to have fun, like you said. Yeah, like, have fun and extracurricular activities might show what you're really good at yeah at the same time or so find like, what you would really want to do right well. and so just like kind of see what your school offers and join whatever you can and have fun with it because you know everyone thinks that high school is like so stressful but i'll tell you now it's more stressful now, now. <laughs> like no. it really is literally yeah that's why yeah, it is it's just like you know, it makes it, we make it seem like it's like more fun and easy, but trust me, it's like a lot harder when you're an adult. And so once you, like you can use youth as a cheat code to just do whatever, like have fun and um, join whatever you can. Learn Experience a lot of things. Yeah. yeah, like you might be an awesome tennis player. You might not know yet. You know, like, oh my like no, like I, I don't know, like I just keep thinking about this. If I join the sport, like yeah, like I'm basketball, like, maybe, basketball. Maybe, okay, I basketball. I like watching it. But, like sometimes I think about like if yeah. I joined a more competitive sport, sport in high school, I feel like my life might have been a little different because I was a really fast runner. Mm, Bet you yeah. didn't know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, you know, if they watched our previous wine talks, they would know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we can talk about that. Well, bet you didn't know I was a fast runner. She was a track star. <laughs> she a run and she a track star. Wait, what was your mile time? Oh, well, but I heard your mile time. Yeah, before, my mile so time was pretty high. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> I was like seven thirty. <gasps> yeah, like around, I was like under eight, but I, I think like but now time, like for us, it's like really fast. Yeah. In our body now, oh, seven minutes is long. Cause you, you are super. Fast. I was pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like no like comment. Now. <laughs> Never run. Seven minutes is pretty fast though. Yeah. Since you are the ultimate summit of our high school life. Yeah. When you're, I feel like I actually experienced high school though. Like when I yeah. From you. Cause also it's different. Cause we're suburbs. Yeah. She was in New York. Cause she's she. Was, There's subways in New York. Yeah. We didn't have subways. No, but I was in Queens, New York, not Manhattan, New York. So. But you knew how to get to Manhattan. Yeah, but it took an hour and a half. We didn't go to LA yeah. when we were in high school. <laughs> well, in high school, going to the city, aka Manhattan, was like on special occasions. Yeah, yeah like yeah. on someone's birthday or something. Right, so it was right. very rare. High school. Honestly, I spent a lot of my time during high school outside of school. I didn't really have 
close friends in school, maybe like one or two. Mm -hmm. um, I always felt like I just didn't fit in with my grade students. Like mm -hmm. I had friends a year below me, like 92s, mm -hmm. but I didn't really have any close friends my year. So when I went to school, I always felt like I didn't belong. But now that I look back, and maybe because like I didn't try hard enough to make friends, right, I was like just closed off. Of it. Yeah, I was just like, you know, I'm gonna just go to school till like 2 p.m. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go to dance school. Like I'm gonna hang out with my other friends. Yeah, so I don't really have much memories from high school except just um, like pajama day. <laughs> 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 sorry, I was so random. Oh, no, we know that too. I forgot. Yeah, you were yeah. If yeah. anything, I enjoyed my junior high school more. I feel like in high school, everything's so clicky. Yeah, you know? and you know, it's hard to kind of figure out who your friends are. You're, you're right. basically just friends because you guys see each other every day. But like, I feel like friends yeah. goes beyond that. You know. Yeah. But I hope your high school experience. <laughs> No, same. Okay, so Joan and I answered this before, but we want to hear your story. Ooh. So since you're new here, we want to hear <laughs> all yeah. of yeah. Okay. So what's like your worst and best dating experience? It's time to spill the wine. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> While you think, I'm going to get some more chips. Okay. Okay. While you think, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, I think my funny. worst dating experience would be probably dating an idol. Is that, is that? <gasps> an idol! <laughs> You're the worst. You're the worst. I met him through promotions. <gasps> oh. oh my god. Okay, it's so funny because she's acting like she doesn't know, but she, we all know who it is. I think you really? I don't know where it is. Oh yeah. Well, and basically, I didn't date him um, for too long. With idols, um, I know like a lot of people are like, oh my god, like they have like big crushes of idols and stuff, but like they seek a lot of attention. They get a lot of attention from people, right? And I think at one point, uh, everybody, like when you're an idol, like there's just so much people like interested in you. And I remember like it would be really hard to kind of get in contact with this person. <gasps> Even though we were like in a so and so, like, you know, like some like relationship. Mm -hmm. And I just remember being like really stressed out because, like, I was just like, oh, I thought that like we kind of clicked and stuff, but to that person, it could just be like another like, 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 point, you know? You know, girl. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna do that. What are the pros and cons of dating an idol? <clears throat> Ooh, I, what, is there a pro? Oh. Is there a pro? Can you think of a pro? I think the pros was schedules. Like it's very hectic, right? Like you guys, every idol will have different schedules, and I feel like understanding that is going to be a lot. What is this phone? Is that? <laughs> Sorry. Final right. question. That final question. How do we conquer burnout? or ways to deal with burnout. Mm. I just stop everything. I just don't do anything. Mm. Whatever is burning me out, I'm sure it's work related. I just stop. Mm -hmm. And I spend time away from work, meeting friends, going out, mm. and I try not to think about it. And then there will come a time when I'm like, I'm mm. gonna do it again. Yeah. Mm. So I just rely on that. I just don't think about it, I don't mm. feel it. I had a really hard time with this because even during burnouts, I would force myself to film, edit a video, mm -hmm. and upload. But I think recently, like within the past couple of months, I started to just kind of like let go. Mm -hmm. And I used to never do that mm -hmm. because personally for me, like when I just started YouTube, I didn't understand when YouTubers would be like, I'm so burnt out. Like, like I'll be honest, I really didn't understand why they would not upload because mm -hmm. it's not a big deal. But honestly, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of work that goes into uploading one epi one episode. Like each of you guys will probably understand that because filming takes time, thinking of an idea takes time, editing and getting that up and responding to those comments, it all takes time. And so this year, I think I've been trying really hard to like slow down a little bit. And even though it's like one video a week, 
it doesn't compare to the 10 videos I uploaded mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a week like in yeah. 2016. Yeah. It really doesn't, but like there were like last week I didn't upload a video because I just like it was level four lockdown. I didn't leave the house. Like I just yeah. didn't want to upload before it would kill me. But now I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna take the time to focus on my mental health. And like I was totally okay with it. And I think you sometimes need that. Like I feel like the inconsistency of my channel has like finally started to show on this on my channel and like I hate it but also at the same time like you really need to take the time off. It's not just for YouTubers, it's for everyone yeah. out there. Like before it would kill me and I would be like so depressed and like punching myself for it but like now I'm just like you know what like I needed to not upload. Because yeah. one video a week is actually a lot of work. It's tough. Yeah, yeah, but I did 10 at one point in my life and I'm like, you know, at one point that was okay. Like I was able to do it, but right now I'm not capable. I think we always talk about Joan, like the Joan at Joan Day. Yeah. Like we yeah. always were like, she was crazy. We were like, we don't understand. Yeah. And like yeah. I really didn't have like a proper break afterwards. And I'll be honest, like I say like I'm gonna take a break, but I'm constantly thinking about work. I'm constantly thinking about how I'm gonna come back. I'm constantly thinking about like what I should do next, you know? Mm -hmm. And so like until I don't do any of that, that will be my proper break. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I don't know, like yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we were doing that though. Because yeah. you need a break. Like <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. Everyone needs a break. Everyone yeah. does need a break mm -hmm. though. I know, but mm. I'm glad to hear that you weren't like all like beating yourself up for not uploading a week. Yeah, yeah. because the J in me would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, not, yeah, not like a year ago, Joe. Yeah, like, or even sure. like four months ago, I would not understand like, why aren't you uploading a week? Like, mm -hmm. you know, but now I'm just kind of like used to... I think also the pandemic really slowed me down. Like. I hate to use it as an excuse, yeah. but then because I'm not going out to film as much anymore, like I'm literally home. Like everyone's like, okay, you're literally home, but why are you in Cheju? You're yeah. literally home, why are you in Busan? But I'm like, I'm literally just going for that moment and coming back. It's just like, it just seems like on social media, I'm constantly <laughs> like, you know, doing something and just like taking pictures of like things, but I don't know. You're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. Thanks guys. I know, you know what, the true friends are always like, you need to take a break. Yeah. Everyone's, like, everyone's like, you need to, just stop, don't even think about it. Yeah. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm. For me, I think um, at first, what kind of like starts a burnout is kind of like, it could be by yourself too, but it, it could be also like comparing yourself to other people's mm -hmm. work ethic. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everybody has a different way of working, mm -hmm. but you know, there's no right or wrong, but I feel like the way you kind of might burn yourself out is trying to follow in like other people's paces or like what is right. Because there usually is no right or wrong, but I feel like sometimes you're just like, oh, this is like kind of like the general or the norm. And I feel like it really kind of took me a while to break out of it. Also, I do think that like with personal problems or like family problems, it would also definitely like change mm -hmm. I think that with me like throughout the pandemic obviously like things have slowed down but like throughout the pandemic I dealt with a lot of personal stuff too mm -hmm. like, having enough time to actually rest heal because I feel like burnouts the reason why you keep getting burnt out is because you're not fully like charging yourself it's just kind of like like mini charge and then like you go back at yeah. it and stuff but I mean everybody has a different way of like with that mm -hmm. so all right guys thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to joan and stubini's channels follow them on instagram and show them some support and love thank you guys for being a part of this thank you for having us yes now we're gonna go take some selfies <laughs> <laughs> real talk uh let us know in the comments what you guys would like for us to talk about again in the future and thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys next time bye, bye. Alright, we have 10 minutes to take <laughs> your selfie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. We did it. We did it. We did it.